Chapter 9.4 exercises 11 through 20, and these exercises are again on sequences. That's from a section 9.4 from the book. In exercise 11 through 20, determine whether the sequence converges or diverges. If it converges, gives the give the limit. Well, here we have 1, 4, 9, 16. So it looks like we have n squared. Our, yeah, right. N, R, uh, how do we say that? We said N to the power of 2. That's what it is. N squared. So we have 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared. And so we would say that this series is going to diverge. In other words, the number is not going to, number is continue in this case to get bigger and bigger and not come down to a, a single value or approach a single value. The approach would be to infinity. we will go to the next other problem, which is problem 13. And this one we could rewrite as 1 over, uh, let's see, n squared, right? Because we would have one over uh, one over one squared, which would be one over one, one over two squared, which is one over four, one over three squared. And if we, you can take a real large number, say, if, if we take n equals, let's say, uh, a thousand, we would have one over a thousand squared which would be 1 over a million, okay, which is very close to zero. So we would say this is this converges, this, this sequence converges and approaches, will never actually reach, but approaches as we get, our numbers get bigger and bigger, converges to zero. So this is a convergent series, convergent sequence, excuse me. Series is next chapter, 9.5. Okay, number 15. Uh, determine whether the sequence converges or diverges. It converges gives a limit. Well, in this case, uh, one, one trick you can use is put a fairly large number in there and see what the number comes close to. And I'm going to give you a shortcut. If we can take a, let's say we say, we say n equals a thousand, pretty large number. For that we would have three thousand minus one over two minus three times a thousand, which would be three thousand. So we would have. 2,999. Oops. Frozen. Attempting to connect. I don't know what happened there. We'll get 2,299. Over 2 minus 3,000 would be negative 200, 998. So this number is going to be very close to negative 1. So we'll say converges to negative 1. And there's another shortcut we can use, which we call Betsy. Betsy which means bottom equals top, use coefficient. So in this case, the highest power of n is n to the first power in the top, n to the first power in the bottom. So our convergent is going to be that coefficient of 3, 3n, or the, the denominator's coefficient of n, which is negative 3, and 3 over negative 3 is negative 1. So kind of a shortcut. 
Now to problem number 17. We have, um, here we have, let's see if convergence gives a limit. Here, if you remember a your exponential functions, where if you had a exponential function with a base of less than one, you would go, the thing would go down like this and actually approach what? Zero. If this base in this case 0.5, but let's say the base is 2 greater than 1, we would have this kind of an exponential relation. We're going up or diverging. In this case, we have this situation here in the red declining, and we will say this sequence converges, and what does that sequence Converge to converges to zero. Okay. Next, we get to problem 19. Which from uh, we have a sub one equals one and a sub n plus one equals a to the n a sub n plus three. So that's going to be for for a sub 1, we're going to have 1. For a sub 2, we're going to have 1 plus 3, which is going to be 4. And for a sub 3, we're going to have 4 plus 3, which is 7. And then 11, we see we're going to be skip counting by 4 the whole way. So we would say that this series, this sequence does what? Diverges. Does not coalesce to a single number. Goes closer, moves toward infinity, steadily and unrelentingly. Anyway, that's going to be the odd number problems worked out today. Work on the even number problems. And I thank you for viewing.